Hey, it's me, D underscore Reyes. Charles has lost all motivation to continue this, so I'll be the host till he comes back. <clears throat> I'm thinking of one thing everyone sees every single day of their life. Can you guess what that is? Go on, I'll wait. Okay, I was thinking about trash. It's even in our school. So, so we made a little segment about trash in our school. Why don't we go and show you what we got? My name's Charles. I've uh, been here for four years. Um, almost four years now, actually. And uh, every single day during lunch, I see trash. So, let's go take a look at that trash, alright? Take care of your life, I'll take care of mine. Okay, okay, not the best, but hey, I think it was filmed. It was filmed after lunch. So maybe next time we'll go back to. Maybe we'll do better in the next time we get back to the segment in the future. So soccer, that's a thing, right, Daniel? Let's 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 play it. Let's just let's just play it. Uh, what's your name? My name is Pearson Dutch. Dutch. You know, what, what, what do you play? Soccer. Uh, how long have you been playing soccer for? Uh, pretty much my whole life. I started in about kindergarten, I think, and ever since then. How would you say the sports helps athletes? Helps athletes? Yeah. It, can, it gives them some quickness and uh, some endurance, and it teaches them never to quit. Why do you think people should do this sport? Um, I think you should try the sport because it's fun and it's easy to learn. All you need is a ball. That's it. Alright, and uh, one more thing. Uh, how do you feel about uh, your team becoming champions and beating Logan 3-2? It's a great feeling. We've been working hard all season and uh, it's good to get the first one down. Now we got to win NCS. What's your name? My name is Christian. Alright. Uh, what sport do you play? I play soccer. Right, second question. Uh, how long have you been playing this sport for? I've been playing this sport since I was a little kid. Um, my brothers, my whole family watches soccer, so I just got, I got it from them. Alright. How does this sport help? Help athletes. It helps them by um, first of all to to become better. You al you always have to find um, work as a team, and it helps people better by it helps them by just um, meeting new people, friends, skills, skills, uh, and yeah. Hey, why should people do the sport? I think people should do the sport because it's a uh, it's a good distraction and it's also pretty fun because you get to meet new people, coaches, especially they give you good advice and stuff like that. All right, Daniel, first, all right, what is your name? My name is Daniel Johnson. All right, uh, what sport do you coach? I coach football and I coach uh, soccer, girl soccer. Uh, how does this sport help athletes? I feel like sports help athletes learn commitment and responsibility, how to join a team and not just be about yourself and think about big picture. Why, why should people do this sports? Uh, I think. The other reason why sports are good and why you should do it is it helps you learn a lot about yourself, helps you learn how to overcome adversity, because uh, life is not easy. So if you can learn those kind of skills while playing a game, it'll make real life that much easier for you. All right, and how far do you think your team could go this year? <laughs> All the way. What the hell was that? Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> Next, we got an interview with a ceramics teacher made by Chris. So let's see what we got in store. Well, this work is uh, work done by our Ceramics 1 students, so beginning ceramics class. And the project is a pinch pot project where they had to learn how to make um, take a ball of clay and shape it uh, by pinching the clay into a cup. And they made two cups, put them together, 
and then they turn these into their own characters. Um, I don't know. I think they turned out pretty, pretty good. All right, so we asked a number of students a number of questions. Let's go see how many they get right. All right, so schools are a valuable source of information. However, aside from the know-how and textbook knowledge, how much do these students really know? Let's find out, shall we? I'm going to hit you with five questions. Take as much time as you need to answer them. If you don't know them, just tell me and we'll move on. Huh? Is this tested or what? We're we'll tested. So what is it? Just, like just five random five questions. questions. Five, five random questions. questions. Okay. Right, so why do you give me this? Question? We'll start off with how many days are there between February 28th and March 1? Isn't it like one day or something? I don't know, something like that. I really don't know. How many pounds at a time? I don't know. <laughs> what is the Second Amendment? Uh, is it the, the speech, right? The freedom of speech? Something like that? With, how many pounds in a ton? A ton of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit you with about like five questions, see if you can answer them. All right, so what is the Second Amendment? Yes. <laughs> well, you have right to bear arms. Ooh, OK. Awesome. So now I wanted to talk about a class I'm taking called sports marketing. What's sports marketing, you might ask? Well, unlike Mohammed, who can't answer the question, sports marketing is a subdivision of marketing which focuses both on the promotion and sporting events and teams as well as the promotion of, the, of other products and services through sports, sports events and sports teams. Now, that's the Google term for it. Now, you might say this is a hard class. Yes, it's challenging, but Mr. Sabangan will make, will make the class fun for everyone in the, in the class. Now, sometimes you, you get to make videos, like me and my colleague Victor made a highlight video on video games on an, in our debate about them. Here, go take a look. KO. <laughs> Round two, fight. <laughs> Perfect.
Now, we have Victor, now we had Victor go out and ask a bunch of sc uh, students questions about, pop, about uh, in the category of pop culture. Let's see what he's given us this week. All right. <laughs> All right, first question, Marvel or DC? I prefer Marvel. Marvel. DC. I would say Marvel right now, but DC all the way. Wait, what? I would say all the way. Yeah, like Marvel right now, because they, they have like the best yeah. movies DC right now. But of... DC and like Batman right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But DC all the way, it's Batman. Twizzlers or Red Fox? They the same, right? You're Being all... racist right now. <laughs> Or you can't use. What do you prefer? Just pick one. I'm just gonna say Twizzlers. Red line. Twizzlers? Red line. No, Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Okay, don't say they're the same. Okay. They're the same. And I'm like, oh. Y'all gotta read the book. We gotta read the book. Fucking shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wear a hand. I have an alpha bar for her. But I got an answer, so Disney or DreamWorks? DreamWorks? Disney. Disney. <laughs> DreamWorks. None. None? Marvel Comics. So oh, Disney. Which is, yeah, okay. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Pepsi. Pepsi. Coke. Pepsi. I could Coke. Go. I actually water, bro. Drink water. Drink water. Drink water. Drink yeah. water. Don't, don't. Don't, 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 drink, don't, soda. don't drink soda. Don't give it to big soda. Okay. So we got a bunch of freshmen to edit their favorite parts of hats. And when we looking at each one, we decided a winner. And here it is. Please rise and face the flag for our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early All right, that is all we have here for, day, for today. I'm sorry for the long wait. A lot of things came up, and again, Charles lost all motivation to do it. I'm these underscore rays, and uh, bye, I guess.